We're kicking things off at the Murphy's Boxing Card at Memorial Hall in Melrose, Massachusetts tonight with a four-round welterweight bout between Lawrence, Massachusetts' unbeaten Adrian Sosa taking on Cincinnati, Ohio's Brian Goldsby. My name is Peter Zimbor. I'll have the call of the action. Adrian Sosa is wearing the blue trunks with the white trim, and Brian Goldsby is wearing the black trunks with the gray trim. Sosa from nearby Lawrence, Massachusetts, unbeaten at 5-0. Oh, four of his big wins coming by way of knockout. Brian Goldsby, four wins, five losses in the boxing ring. Also a mixed martial arts practitioner who competed in the Bellator Bantamweight Tournament a few years back. Has a 17-win, 16-loss record within that sport. He's a fighter, folks. That's a lot of fights between the two sports, and he likes to scrap. This is a fight that was made on relatively short notice. Adrian Sosa was originally supposed to fight a, another fighter from Ohio tonight named Angel Figueroa. Brian Goldsby was supposed to fight tomorrow night in New Hampshire against Brandon Berry. Angel Figueroa was unable to get his medicals done in time. Brian Goldsby, his opponent originally, Brandon Berry, suffered a cut in sparring and was unable to compete. Both men were available, and that's how this fight came to be. This one's scheduled for four rounds in the welterweight division. I think that Brian Goldsby may have felt the power of Adrian Sosa thus far. And Goldsby goes to clinch and falls to a knee. Ruled correctly a slip by referee Leo Gristel. And we're noticing that Brian Goldsby is limping a little bit and he shakes out the cobwebs of his left leg. And I think that he doesn't want to put pressure on that left leg for some reason. And this could be an injury which really derails his game plan of staying on the outside and boxing. As you could evidently see, that's what he wanted to do in the beginning. Last time I saw a fighter suffer a leg injury early in round one, it was another fighter from Lawrence named Alexis Santos who hobbled his way through a few rounds before uh, eventually being stopped. He would later redeem himself in a rematch against the fighter he lost to that night. But obviously, as you can imagine, uh, walking gingerly on one of your legs is inconvenient enough, let alone being in a boxing match. And Brian Goldsby's turning his back. He's clearly in some pain. <laughs> He's trying to fight back, throw some right hands. Nice left hand by Goldsby. Staggers Sosa. Let's see if the adrenaline kicks in and whatever's ailing that left leg leaves him momentarily. It's a knockdown scored by Brian Goldsby. And you know what? The crowd is booing. I think that was a legit knockdown. It was a stiff shot that put Sosa on the canvas, and Goldsby just sort of fell over him. Round one is going to go to Brian Goldsby, 10-8. So Brian Goldsby scores a knockdown at the end of round one, but it looks like that left leg injury might cause him not to come out for round two. Will that be the case? He's going to do it. Brian Goldsby with a 10-8 round in round one due to the knockdown. Also landed a nice left hand earlier in the round. When they get physical in a clinch in there, I have to imagine that favors Brian Goldsby with the mixed martial arts background. But Adrian Sosa has a lot of amateur experience. He knows how to work in there. Brian Goldsby, he can't put weight on that left leg. Referee Leo Gristel is going to administer a count. He's going to ask him if he wants to continue. And that is going to be it, folks. It's over. Second round 
TKO win for Adrian Sosa. Unique fight, Brian Goldsby scores a knockdown in round one. Appears to injure his left leg. And it's going to go in the books as a second round TKO win for Adrian Sosa. An anticlimactic ending to an interesting fight. A second round TKO win for Adrian Sosa, who remains unbeaten.